Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we really timed this just perfectly talking about your pets. Well, we're talking about those furry friends, um, the DOGs. Look at this one right here. We have Norman here, um, an adoptable dog with Grand. But we're going to talk about the event as a whole first. Puppy Palooza happening in Westport Village. Carmen, tell me, what can we expect? This is one of the biggest events that you've thrown. It is. It's also one of my favorites. So we will have more than 30 dog-friendly vendors here. We'll have food, live music, caricature art, complimentary pet portraits, all benefiting the Kentucky Humane Society. So we love this event. It's this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Oh, my gosh. It's, we're hoping for good weather. We've, get, we've gotten some sprinkles this morning, haven't we, John? <laughs> we uh, so Norman's handling it well through that thick coat. I'm sure he can't feel a thing, right? Yeah, he, he likes being outside so the, the elements don't bother Norman. He's happy to be here. So talk to me about what Grand is and what you guys do. Sure, so Grand's a non-profit organization, uh, Dog Rescue. They've been around 26 years. We've, we've uh, rehomed 5,000 dogs in, wow. their, in that period. Um, and we take dogs that, you know, they've been neglected or abused or um, maybe they have an illness or, or, or the family life circumstances have changed. And we'll take the dogs in, many of them are sad, and um, we'll rehabilitate the dogs. Mm -hmm. um, we'll try and get them in a foster home. And then with the uh, eventual goal of getting them into a loving forever home where they can they can live out happy ending to their story. Are people going to get to meet Norman this weekend? They at are. Palooza? There'll be Norman and there'll be a couple of his buddies from our kennel will be here as well. Tell me about Norman's story. Norman, it's a sad story with Norman. He, uh, oh. he was actually adopted and um, his owner left the state without telling anybody and left Norman in an apartment. He was in there for six days, no food, no water, um, until the property management came and found him. And then and then he found his way back to Grand, and now he's in our safe hands. Oh, and my God. As you can see, he's doing very well. I mean, Norman has not, like, stepped one paw out of line <laughs> this morning. He's a wonderful boy. Would you say that he's food motivated? I think he knows you have some treats he's in your been, pocket. He's been chewing at my, my front pocket here because he knows <laughs> I have treats. So, yeah, Oh, my he is. goodness. But and And so you guys are located pretty close to here. Yeah, we're in Linden. We're probably less than a mile wow. down the road from Papaloosa. And um, we have a lot of dogs at the kennel right now. We have about 10 dogs in there, Norman being one of them. Oh, and Norman. Norman's looking for his forever home. And I just think that maybe this weekend at Puppy Palooza, he might find it. How sweet. That's so, oh. Alex, we're all saying <gasps> we that's the dog, dog we want. We want Norman. We want Norman. We all have a little crush yes. on Norman. Norman is cute. Yeah, Norman is a sweetie. Oh. That's what we like. Just yep. a sweet, docile dog. Hang out. <laughs> I want that dog so bad. I wish everyone in my family was not allergic. Oh, I would take bad. that dog yeah. home today.